Hey guys, welcome to the tutorial of the series using MATLAB GUI with Arduino support package. And today we are going to change brightness of LED corresponding to the analog voltage input from a potentiometer connected to analog pin of Arduino Uno. So with that being said, let's get started. Before creating the GUI, let's look at the setup. Let's start a camera. Here are the connection of Arduino and potentiometer. End terminal of potentiometer which is red one and yellow wire is connected to fifth pin and ground pin of Arduino respectively. Whereas its middle terminal which is the wiper terminal is connected to analog pin A0. For output LEDs positive terminal is connected to digital pin 10 and then in series with the resistor to ground. To create GUI for this project, go to new, graphical user interface and select blank GUI the default one. Click OK. OK so this is the GUI window now select push button and place it anywhere. Now select static text which would be displayed under the push button. So just place it under the push button. Now double click static text. Uh, let's first change the string name which is static text right now. Okay, so I'm going to change the string name from a static text to read then write because we are first reading the analog value from potentiometer and then writing it on LED. Now I'm going to copy this and paste it in a tag name. Now let's change the background color of the static text which is white right now. Click OK. OK now uh, Let's increase the font size from 8 to 12. Now double click push button to change its properties. First of all, the string name which is push button right now. Let's change it to fire. And the tag name also fire. Now font size, let's increase the font size from 8 to 16. Now background color which is white, let's change it to this one, light green. Now hit enter. Let's run this GUI. Let's save uh, it with the file name tutorial 5. So this is the program window and this is the GUI we just created. This is the opening function of our GUI, tutorial 5. This here is the push button function function fire. So first of all, like we did in all previous GUIs, assign global variable A under the opening function. Then assign A equals to Arduino connected to the COM port of your laptop. Since Arduino on my laptop is connected to COM3, I'm going to write COM3. But before all this, we must clear all the previous value stored on variable A. So clear all. Now, under the function fire, we have to again initialize the variable a as global. Now let's select another variable x and make it equals to read voltage a which is Arduino and analog pin 0. So x is a variable on which we are storing the analog input voltage from the analog pin a0 of Arduino you know. So now let's write this voltage value saved on x on pin number 10 of Arduino. So write PWM voltage on, a, on Arduino's pin number 10 having voltage value x. But before write PWM voltage function, let's just add display x because we want to see input voltage value which we are getting from the potentiometer. So DISP and in bracket x. Once again, uh, first we are reading voltage from the analog pin A0 on which potentiometer is connected and saving it in variable x. Then we are writing this value on the pin number 10 of Arduino. Now let's run the GUI. The program is uploading right now. Let's open the camera. Okay, so there's probably an error. Let's try again. Okay, so the camera is started. 
right now i don't know the exact position of the wiper terminal so let's check by clicking on the push button fire so it's 3 volts which we are getting across led and resistor now let's rotate the potentiometer in clockwise and hit fire okay so the voltage decreases across the led too now again brightness led decreases now if i rotate it more in the clockwise direction in fire okay so the right now the voltage is very low across the led now if i rotate it in anti clockwise direction click fire 1.9 volts now if i rotate it more 2.9 volts so the brightness of led is increasing and 4 volts right now 4.3 if i rotate it again in clockwise direction the wiper terminal is at its minimum position that is at ground position that's why we are getting zero on the command window and the same voltage is given across led and resistor and thus led is not glowing at all so guys that's all for today if you like this video then please subscribe and if you have any queries and suggestions regarding this project then just leave a comment in the comment section and in the next video we'll run two motors using l29810 motor driver by connecting it to the matlab gi and arduino until then i'll see you next time bye bye